How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. It's still week 5 of 2023, it's my second video this week because more news has come up to do with Horizon 5, or more specifically, a drag racing update leak. Very interesting, I'm going to show you guys all of that in this video, along with a couple of other things as well. Now the Series 17 update released yesterday, and this obviously updated the files and all the stuff like that, and it's within those new files that this was spotted. Speaking of the Series 17 update that came out yesterday, we now have the full changelog for the whole update, not just the highlighted features and highlighted fixes. We now have a list of everything that was fixed within the update, as on screen right here, there's not too many. And we've got the graphic that Playground Games usually put over on Twitter for the main Series 17 update features. Now, over on GT Planet, which is a forum I like to browse a lot because it's full of probably the most smartest people within the Horizon community, someone by the name of TGR55, he's a regular poster, he went through the files and found this update. He posted the following found new upcoming horizon stories after the update coming from story dialogue string this one is interesting i should say we're going to take a look at the files after we see what he has to say absolutely all the credit goes to this guy the file only mentioned the name as had so this is presumably the name of the story had h a d probably short for horizon a drag as the name suggests drag race will be its main objectives Here's what I managed to find from the dialogue strings. The story evolves around Alejandra and Papa Fernando. Players will be drag racing cars from various eras. New drag racing system using drag zone traffic lights, according to the dialogue. There will be some sort of marked box as a start area. Stop for three seconds, the light will be active. Wait till the green light and the race begins. The light will cycle again if you missed the start. The drag race will also be available as a normal race, and there are a few new-ish cars specially mentioned in the dialogues. What are these new cars? Well, we have the Rimac Nevera. Now, this is sort of already in the game. How this is said to be the production model, the finalised Rimac Concept 2 production model finally being added to the game. The Lamborghini Huracan STO. That one I'm quite excited about, as you can see I'm using the image of Shimi's SDO because it triggers a lot of people. And then finally the Camaro Pro Stock, now this is presumably a heavily drag spec car also spotted in the dialogue. Now all of this information about this update comes from just one file of dialogue that TGR managed to find. Now he provided the links to them dialogues and we're going to have a look at them now. Remember guys if you're enjoying this video and you like these weekly news and leaks videos make sure to subscribe because we do this every week and you won't miss any leaks or any updates to do with Horizon 5 ever. So this is the first lot of dialogue that he highlights talking all about the Rimac. We can see it goes into a bit of blurb about the specs of it. You, you get the gist of it. You can read it on screen if you want to have a read. And then the second portion that he screenshots is all about the, um, the Pro Stock Camaro, which is not in the game, along with the Lamborghini Huracan STO, which is also not in the game. So those are the two new cars which are presumably coming as spotted within this story dialogue. Now he provides the file which has the full dialogue from the whole story and it's very long. I'm going to scroll through on screen now of the entire dialogue for this whole you know horizon story um it's got all the usual chit chat you know the goofiness you know the specs about how you do the story and you know just what you'd expect in a full story dialogue we can see that we have talks about driving the napier railton which is already in the game these may be one of the cars that's within the story. We can see that at some point you're going to go up against the 1995 Nissan Nismo GTR LM. And again, there's a few other things in this dialogue that piques my interest. Now, one of the things that I liked is the idea of the launch control. Now, there's a portion of this dialogue that talks about this, if we look closely. It says, get yourself in position just like last time, but this time, while parked, hold down the brake. With the brake held, press down your accelerator. Then just release the brake and launch control will do its best to keep you from losing traction as you accelerate down the strip. Now, is this going to be a new implemented launch control system added to Horizon 5? It technically already has launch control in Horizon 5. It's not official. It doesn't work exactly how it should on every car. It's just a generic launch control system. Are they going to tinker with this and make it better? I don't know. But it is, there is talks about launch control being a factor of how you do this drag racing story, which is really cool to see. 
I had a quick scan through the whole dialogue myself and a few things caught my eye such as that launch control thing, the new cars and the lights as well as the poster mentioned. Now while we're on the topic of these leaked stories and leaked cars, we're going to have a look at the leaked car list because it's actually very relatable. This is the updated leaked car list, all of the cars which have been found in the game files and stuff like that. We can now add the Hurricane STO and the Rimac Nevera production model to the list of cars that have been found. Now what's interesting about this is if we look very closely, we can actually notice that the 2013 Chevrolet Camaro Pro Stock is already on the leaked car list from over a year ago now now this has been on here for, as i said over a year it's now potentially being added to the game it's finally being added so i've only highlighted that red to point it out but it can go back to being black it's not in the game is it going to come with this update it's looking very likely with the result of series 17 releasing this week the toyota sport 300 has been on the leaked car list as well which we can now mark as green because it obviously came within series 17. So we've got two new cars to add to the list, one of them we've ticked off in green. The Camaro Pro Stock is probably going to be added as well, so we can make that green in the future. So the car list is looking very, very reliable so far. Now one last thing to talk about is the Suggestions Hub, and that's because lots of these leaks, the, the cars and this drag racing update, has been on the Suggestions Hub, and that might have been where Playground Games got these ideas from. The Suggestions Hub is the number one place that Playground Games want us to suggest cars and ideas for the game so they can do them. Now if we go to the top most requested features, we can see that drag racing car customization is actually in the top 10. And lo and behold, we get a drag racing horizon story leaked. Very interesting. If we go over to the top 10 most voted for cars, we will see that Lamborghini Huracan STO is the fifth on the list and it's presumably being found in the files now and the Nissan Z that we got in series 17 is just a couple of down. So that's very promising to see that a few things that are very high up on the voted list are being added. I know it said drag racing car customization which is different from a drag racing horizon story but at least shows that they're following what we obviously want most. I certainly have no complaints with a Horizon story like this. I don't want you guys getting your hopes up, just like we did with the Donut Media Horizon story, which we're actually waiting for part two now that I think about it. But yeah, it's going to be cool to get a drag racing story, maybe a revamped launch control, a lighting system. It's going to be something a bit different and pretty damn cool. What do you guys think? Let me know. Anyway, guys, that's everything for this video. Make sure to leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more content just like this. And I'll see you all later.